Yesterday I did all of the holes in the house and I forgot to do these four holes up here. I'm thinking what if I, on the night of the second when Alex gets back from training, we could finish packing up anything that the movers need to take. Then on the morning of the third, the movers could come and I could follow them to Dallas while Alex is at his retreat. Then I could come back to Austin and meet Alex here on the 6th, the final clean of the apartment. That way we can do it together and we can get it all done on that one day. Then the evening of the 6th, after we clean and return the key to our apartment, we drive to Dallas and then Alex starts his new job the next day. So I took the shelves off the walls yesterday and I'm going to try to fit them in one big box. I don't know how well that's going to work or how I'm going to pack them. I'm sitting here trying to even think like how I've packed this stuff in the past because I don't remember ever actually moving and like doing it this organized and well. So we'll see. <laughs> there, It's like all those random things that it's like I don't know how to pack. I've hired movers like once or twice before but I just don't remember how it worked and that was like an in-city move so I moved a lot of stuff myself in my car um, this is only the second time we've ever moved to a different city and I don't really remember how we did it last time <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know why it was like less than two years ago okay I'm gonna finish this now I'll check in with y'all next time wipe down the outside of the refrigerator. I'm going to save the oven and the microwave and the inside of the refrigerator for um, like the last day we're here because we're still going to be cooking and using it. I don't know if I'm going to do any more because that took a really long time and I'm like really hot and sweaty right now. Hello, it's Saturday the 29th I think and tomorrow afternoon the movers are coming so today I am trying to get everything done. Oh, that was thunder. It's raining outside again. So I have this bookshelf that that needs to be unscrewed from the wall and I can't reach it. Um, I also need to take apart my bed which I can't take off the mattress by myself. So I need someone to come over and help me do that too. But besides that everything is pretty much packed I think. Um, these are all empty boxes. I've moved some of the furniture that I could into this area just so the movers can get it out as fast as possible. Um, I have a ton of recycling that I need to take out and I need to empty this because the movers are going to take that. Um, this is everything that I have left to pack and it's stuff that's kind of... I left the electronics out because we're taking all of this stuff in the car when we drive up because we want to have our TV still for the next week. I don't know what I'm going to do about this curtain. We put this up, but I feel like the next tenants might want it. But that'll be done with Alex's help anyway. These are all of the boxes. <laughs> so it looks like a lot because they, the stacks have gotten progressively bigger the further out I go. Like, Alright, I just stopped filming. I thought that was maintenance about to come to the door because I'm having... Um, 
problems with the window leaking like I showed y'all so I thought that was them but it wasn't it was just um, some of my upstairs neighbors I'm lighting an incense right now I seriously burn it like an inch at a time because I don't like it to be too smoky um, because it's bad for you I've not done anything in the bathroom because this is all gonna just be packed on the last day and moved all at once because we don't have very much bathroom stuff so that's the mattress that I'm gonna be sleeping on when that we're gonna be sleeping on when we come back to this apartment so the bedroom the movers are gonna take that but I'm leaving the cat toys the cat food the cats are staying here until next Saturday when we drive up to Dallas uh, they're gonna come with us then when hopefully you know, things are a little bit more settled. Finally, they won't have to be locked up in this room anymore because the boxes will be gone tomorrow, which is good because the incessant crying and clawing at the door is really just starting to drive me crazy. And I'm sure it's like driving them crazy too. So I only have these top two drawers of clothes still, uh, which I guess I'll take out later tonight because uh, the movers are going to be taking that. This dresser, this is like our by far heaviest piece of furniture. And then this is our huge declutter pile. I don't know if you can tell how big this pile of stuff is. There is a lot here. There's kitchen stuff. There's a ton of clothes that Alex got rid of, like a huge pile. I don't even know what else is in here. Towels, sheets, hangers, picture frames, water bottle, cleaning supplies, shoes, a alarm clock, big picture frame, rugs, like there's just a ton of stuff in here. Tomorrow, Sunday, the movers are coming in the afternoon and then they are going to pack up my U-Haul. Then Monday morning, I'm driving the U-Haul to Dallas, maybe by myself, which is scary. And then Monday afternoon, um, I'm having movers come and unload the U-Haul and then I'm staying the night on Monday night at our new apartment and then Tuesday morning I work and then I am taking a bus back to Austin and then I'm gonna be in Austin from Tuesday until Saturday and then Saturday me and Alex will pack up whatever's left here um, and leave and so this week what I'm gonna do while Alex is still gone, he doesn't get back till Friday. Um, while he's still gone, I'm going to deal with this pile of stuff. I need to decide what's to donate, what's to sell, what I'm going to give to people. And then the rest of the week will just be like cleaning and like doing stuff around the house. This is literally all I have left to pack is just this little pile right here. And that's it. And I will be done. Everything is ready for the movers tomorrow and I'm going to sit down and relax for the rest of the day and I'm probably going to take a nap. Hopefully all of this stuff fits in the truck that I got. I'm kind of worried about that. Like I thought we didn't have very much stuff but apparently we do. But it's mainly just boxes. Like we really don't have a lot of furniture. So yeah, I'm hoping it'll be okay. <laughs> if everything doesn't fit then uh, fuck my life. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I hired professionals, so, like, they'll be able to Tetris the shit in there. Okay, I'm gonna relax now. I got a free trial of HBO for the week, so I could finish Insecure. And I caught up on Insecure, and now I'm watching the show called Kindergarten. They followed a class of kindergartners in the year 2000, and I went to kindergarten in, like, 1999, so it's, like, I relate to it, you know? <laughs> no, but it's like really interesting. I'm sitting here talking to myself because Alex has been gone for so long and I feel like I've just been cooped up in the house because he has our car. So I have just been cooped up in the house. So I'm like kind of dying of cabin fever right now, but it's okay. I'm also kind of running out of food. So, peace. <laughs>